Hey, how's it going guys? So this video is going to be about the P0456 check engine light. If you like this video, remember to hit like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, I'll answer what I can for you. Uh, but this is about 2009 Hyundai Sonata. Really applies to any car that triggers that P0456 uh, check engine light. So let's take a look at it. There it is in all its glory. Everybody's favorite good old check engine light, right? So. <clears throat> The way I figured out what code this was, you can do it a couple different ways if you don't know this. Uh, you can go to AutoZone, a lot of the car stores, car parts stores, and uh, they'll read the code for you. doesn't cost you anything. Uh, takes a little time, right, and stuff. you got to wait in line, drive to the store, whatever. But uh, what I've done is, if we take a look at this thing, guys, I bought this thing years ago. I've had this thing for years, so they, they probably have, like, a latest and greatest Autel OBD2 scanner. You can see I got it plugged in there, and um, I think I paid like 15 bucks for this thing off of Amazon. So um, I'll put the link down below if I can find it on Amazon. I'll put my Amazon affiliate link, but um, I just put the car to the on position, and let's check this thing out. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to tell me to wait. It's doing a little thinking. Real easy to use. And you can see DTC telling me I have two codes. Let me see if I can focus that. Two codes. I'm going to hit enter. DTC, fault one, pending one. P0456, one of two. And you can actually see there's a pending one as well. So, it's wonderful. I love it. Um, with these vehicles, uh, again, the P0456, you can get that on any car that comes in, SUV, truck, whatever. It's a, what is it? It's a small emissions leak, very small emissions leak. So very, very small emissions leak. The 2009 Hyundai Sonata, I've had this car for about 10 years. I bought it brand new, 2008, late 2008, 2009. And it's always been the same thing. This thing's been a pain in the rear end, the P0456, over the 205,000 miles I've had the vehicle. And the brakes have been a pain in the rear end. Every single time I've had the P0456 come in, probably like six different times, it's been the canister closed valve. So I'm gonna show you guys how to replace that real easy. I think the thing cost me, it was like 35 bucks on rockauto.com, rockauto.com, let me say that right. And uh, I ordered it, showed up like two days later at my door. So let's install it and this should resolve the code for probably the sixth time in 205,000 miles. Let's do it. All right, guys, so you can see, got the old car jacked up, right? I have the rear left wheel off, and the reason for that is that my canister closed valve actually hides behind, you can see that panel I took off there? It's like three or four screws that hold it on, and that's my canister closed valve. You can see I've been in here before, I had this little like wire tie thing, and I'm gonna rip that out. I'm gonna install the new one here and this problem is going to be fixed so um again p0456 very small emissions leak tiny so you uh, usually can't see them with your eye usually what it is is the solenoid yeah usually what it is is there's basically you can see an electrical connection let me see if i can like tap it it's like right there right and there's a uh, electric uh what they call a solenoid an electrically operated valve and just opening and closing all the time purging uh, vapors thing fails or uh, leaks by a little bit and this is always the culprit so again about 35 bucks pull this thing out and let's fix it take off my old wire tie here just a piece of wire I, I needed something to hold it up there years ago um, and I'm going to a little bracket. Let's see if I can slide that off. Boom. There it is. Then the old electrical connection. And you can see it is dangling here. So just so you guys can see like the latest here. <clears throat> I'm basically, here's my canister closed valve. I'm gonna remove this hose. I'm gonna remove this hose. I need to remove that hose clamp. Um, I unclipped that electrical connection there. And there's a little bracket that that thing was mounted on. So it's really that easy. So let me just 
take this clamp off. There's that one, All right? So like my rockets here. But anyways, that is the new guy, right? Old, new. So I'm gonna put the, uh, that little hose on. I'm gonna put that hose on. in the electrical and put it back on the bracket. I'm gonna put my old rusty trusty wire tie back on. That's it. Brand new ones in place, electrical connections in there. And basically, you just have to put on your your cover here again, and you're all set. Turn off my light. Again, your, your car might be a little different, but the P0456, this is usually one of the culprits. Can be a gas cap. I know it's not the gas cap, because I've done this a hundred times on this car, but hopefully that helped you, and helps you pass an inspection or just repair the old check engine light. So, anyways, any questions, leave a comment, subscribe, like, Thanks for watching, guys.